Yo, 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 welcome to the Wild That's Crazy podcast. What's going on, people? Hey, y'all. Hey, guys. Uh, I know it's a little different today. We missing the guy, Nigel. He's taking a week off. We'll see Nigel next week. Taking precautions, making sure he's straight. So we want to say what up, Nigel. What up, Nigel? Hey, Hey, Nigel. All right, ladies, how was y'all week? Hold on, hold on. Let me just take a step back. What's going on, Misha? How you doing? I'm good. How's it going? Good. Tell us about this week. How was your week? Oh, first. So I told y'all that I got on the dating app. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> How's that working out? Okay. Uh, actually, a couple of the guys are okay, whatever. Okay. Either just go for a short conversation or don't go nowhere. Uh, <laughs> but this one guy, he came out the blue and asked him, like, are you trouble? I said, no, nah, you must like trouble. He said, yeah. I said, so that means you are trouble. He gonna say some, um, anyways, how's your day? Anyways, that's right. I said, hey, great, I guess. Well, I'm gonna take, he gonna say, well, I'm gonna take us a statement and I'm just gonna block you. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> say that one more time. He said, I'm just gonna take your statement and I'm going to block you. Just because you said you wasn't I'm friends? great. And because I said I'm not, I'm not. I told you because guys no, you think that, that you're supposed to be pressed and chased. Like, like what? Bye, they block, move on. Yes, I said motherfuckers is crazy. Like half of the motherfuckers on there look like unsubs anyway, and you just a weirdo. Oh, no, what the fuck is an unsub? Mm-hmm. You don't watch. You don't watch Criminal Minds. <laughs> Criminal I know what you're talking about. Everybody on there is an awesome. So they look That's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. They look very crazy. Yes, but I did have a um, kind of like a really good moment. One of my friends from middle school, she was like a good friend of mine. She was at home watching TV, watching Amazon Prime, and she just so happened to be watching Coming of Age. Okay. okay. Didn't know I was in That's it. What's up? She called her other friend, who I'm still in contact with, and she was like, girl, I was watching TV, and I was watching a movie, and Misha was in the movie, and she called me, and I was just like, oh my God, it's That's like so up. surreal, like, mm-hmm. this is about to happen to me in real life, so. Yeah. That was, just don't give up, because the thing, yeah, you're going, yeah, it's going to happen, you, like. Support and that's yes. and, it, yes. and that's what make you feel good and that mm-hmm. keep you feeling like that gets really you know your dreams yes, don't kind of fade mm-hmm. and kind of you know fade off because people are noticing you sometimes mm-hmm. it takes time yeah don't happen overnight yes it do take mm-hmm. time because like I said if God would have gave me what I wanted before I'd be strung out somewhere like because yeah. the industry is that. just horrible mm-hmm. they would have chewed me up and sneak me out but that was kind of like a a surreal moment for me yeah. this week mm-hmm. that kind of made my week. That's what's yeah, up. That's yeah. good. That's what's up. How was your week, Hannah? It was long. I mean, I don't have any exciting things, so. Just, and it was a long week. I'm happy. I mean, just. I told you. Work. Just work and work. just enjoying. Just being in peace, you know? Yeah. Good, good energy, good vibes. Um, I don't have any one thing that I can pinpoint and say happened. It just was a, I, it was a stress free. Other than work, you know, work mm-hmm. is always work, but yeah, it's just a long week. Like the days went by so slow, and I'm yeah, like, what? what? It's <laughs> going on and dragging. Yeah, but it was overall, it was a good week. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was a good week. I had a good week. Yeah, my week, it was short. I took off Monday. Mm-hmm. I had off Saturday, and it was cool. Like, got to get some working out in. Um, Spent time with my girl. That okay. was cool. That's we had good quality, quality time. Quality, good QT, yeah. quality time. Yeah. Oh, that's another thing. I started working out. And it's kicking my ass. <laughs> but if you start seeing the results, yeah. you'll be happy. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's going to be all worth it. Yes. That's the best part of it. Just the energy mm-hmm. and feeling good. Like mm-hmm. I tell people, you want to look good. But looking good really the last thing. On yeah. The thing. It's, mm-hmm. Because one thing I can say, like lately, especially, I feel like because it has probably do a lot with my weight. I My breathing is horrible. Okay. But after working out, we did um, 20 minutes on the elliptical. Like, I mm-hmm. was so refreshed. Like, I could breathe, like, perfectly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even in a mask. Like, I my breathing was A1. So, I'm like, that's cool. And then I was just having moments where I was just in deep, deep thought. My little sister, like, what's going on? I said, I'm just happy. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm happy to be at the gym. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, it's a breath of fresh air. So, I'm a foodie. I have, who I'm a foodie. Ooh, I just like to eat. And I like to eat at night, too. Mm-hmm. It's so bad. So, I've been, like, Train, I've trained my body to 
I throw the least first door out. Like, well, Meek, I may not eat, like, a bunch of sweets or I may not eat, like, bread and stuff. Because my body is trained to go up and down. It's like... It's so weird because I used to work out a lot when I was younger. Mm-hmm. Listen, when I got in my thirties, it's like I like my body. I like a natural body, but mm-hmm. I just want my waist to stay slow. Mm-hmm. I like all the extraness, mm-hmm. but just as long as I don't have no pudgy stomach, I'm you. As long as I keep mm-hmm. a little waist, yeah. but I can like I'm a foodie. I gotta figure it out. Like I really need to. That's why I do exercise. Ooh. Yeah, my I just love my snacks yeah. and I love my certain my like I love guacamole. So oh, I will say yeah, that isn't that like a superfood though. I yeah, yeah, but too much, but much of it. Too much of it. I didn't know that. I like it. It just looks nice. That shit good. And it does wonders for your body. It does. It just looks nice. It's good. I love it. I love it. I just don't like it. I call myself having a bowl, a little bowl. Mm-hmm. You go get Next some thing more. you know, go get some mm-hmm. more. Mm-hmm. I, it's like, I don't like bowl. avocado either. But it has like other like ingredients. No? All, yeah, it has like tomatoes, onions, and mm-hmm. it has little, it's, you know, the spices or whatever. It, it depends mm-hmm. on what you get. I like authentic guacamole. Mm-hmm. Like authentic. You know, it tastes really good. Mm-hmm. Wine is my problem. I had to pull back from the wine because they put calories on you. I mm-hmm. actually, Ooh, this is my calories. first glass of wine and since I had stopped drinking, like before Dave yeah. passed away, like yeah. I just stopped drinking. I just mm-hmm. didn't want to do it anymore. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you got to give your body a break. You got to mm-hmm. mm-hmm. drink water. You got to, you know, yeah. you got to, mm-hmm. you have to because your body will let you. Now, I don't know how people just drink, drink, drink and don't. That's shit where you are. Yeah. You, you can't yeah. be productive. No. You just feel yeah. your body just sluggish all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like I noticed with me, the, um, when I'm eating right and exercise, if I'm not doing that, my body feel crazy. Mm-hmm, yeah. Like, I sleep better when I'm exercising. No, you definitely sleep good when you have to I definitely work sleep out. better. Mm-hmm. And I just have, I be full of energy, so. I was say, I'm full gotta of energy. Eat That's why stuff. I like to work out in the morning. Okay. So yeah. Day yes, because... The first thing I do in the morning is make my bed because they say that's the first accomplishment of yep, the day. That's true. So I make my bed. And then to like go to the gym and come back and have a green drink, it's just like my body's just refreshed mm-hmm. and I'm just ready for the day. Your body like, I can take on the world. Yeah. It's like your car. You got all the juices flowing, mm-hmm. all them, you know, everything just winding up. You do be sore afterwards. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Especially yeah. after the first week. I'll be work, doing workouts at home. I was working on my lower body. My legs be so sore some days. I'll be like, whew. And you feel it the next day. But it's, it's worth it. Yeah. It's healthy. Well, ladies, um, the topic I want to discuss today is generational curses. What are some generational curses you want to break, you learn to break, and you want to break? Misha. I want to create a role model for my nieces and my nephew. Okay. I want to give them someone they can look up to. Mm -hmm. And I want to show, especially my nieces, like I feel like my nephew can have his dad and my my other brother, which is Mm -hmm. his uncle, Mm -hmm. but my nieces have me. Mm -hmm. So I want them to know like, you don't have to look like, like no shade to anybody that got their body done. You don't have to look like a supermodel or Instagram model to be pretty. Mm -hmm. You don't have to, be stuck in the supernatural norm to me mm-hmm. because Hollywood beauty, beauty is not beauty. So I want to show them that. Okay. I want to show them that if you want to be the president of the United States, you can do that. That's mm-hmm. So show them that pretty much you just want to support them. Yeah, yeah. you support them. Yeah. Want, whatever you want to do, you can do it and your TT got your back. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So there you go. That's what's up. Yeah. You? Um, for me, like you said with me, Mm-hmm. Niece and nephews. For me, I just like I want to set foundations with mm-hmm. the generation. Like my for my brothers and sisters, I watch like my mom. I never seen her like have really like relations with her sisters and brothers. Like she know them and has semi relationships, but a relationship to me is I talk to you, I spend time with you, you mm-hmm. know me, mm-hmm. you're someone I can call, someone I can talk to. Like a real strong foundation. Like for my siblings, like I said, they don't have to chase me down. I call them, I check on them. I mm-hmm. try to spend time with them. Mm-hmm. I want, you know, I want our kids to have that too. You know, when I have kids, I want them to have an uncle and an aunt they can call mm-hmm. because we're not gonna always be here together. So mm-hmm. I want to have want them to have a family that they can have once I go. You know, you just somebody they can go to. I don't have aunts and uncles that I can go mm-hmm. to. Mm-hmm. So for me, it's like that's important to me. I want to mm-hmm. be that aunt when they know, like, if it's something going on, if you need me. Mommy, daddy ain't there. Call me. Mm-hmm. You know, you have. I'm there to, you know, be there for you. So that's important to me, like that foundation that you start with your family. Mm-hmm. For me, also, I'm very heavy on. I want a family. Like 
I don't want to just be with somebody who has kids. I want. So you want to be a wife? I want. I want to be a wife. Like mm -hmm. I am very, very, very like that's just something that I always want. To, I want to have. It, not saying that it's gonna work out because you never know. The goal is to work out, but I want my kids to be born into love and a family, not just it happen. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I want that because I want that family dynamic. Mm -hmm. That's just something I want. Um, for me, like generational curses, I broke. I was first person graduating college. In my family, and I stuck. Mm -hmm. ooh, yeah, thank you. And I stuck with it. I stuck out. So I showed my siblings you can do something, mm -hmm. and start it and finish it. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm a very for me. I've never had anybody to like outside of my mother to lean on and go to. I didn't have people, so I want to be that some that person that the younger generation in my immediate family. No, they got, they can go to. You know, I just want to be there. That's stuff I didn't have. So for me, it's a lot of generational curse because you have all these family members and nobody's there for you and nobody cares. It like just blows my mind that people just don't care to be like the family. Like it's so weird to me. Like I just don't understand it. But again, that's just a part of generational curses, I guess. You got nieces and nephews you don't even have a relationship with. Yeah. But you call them your niece or nephew, but they, mm -hmm. you don't really have no relationship. That like blows my mind. So that's one thing for me. Well, with me, I'm going to break you down. I got a lot. Mm -hmm. So, with me, I feel like with guys, it's more like with my friends, I feel like I go out my way to introduce different things that I feel all men should do. Mm -hmm. Like, for one instance, um, with friends, with family, with men, especially black men, I always send them texts to send I love them. Whether it's my friends, my cousins who like my friends, mm -hmm. uh, whoever it is, men, guys that I respect, you know, I like to, to let them know I love them. Mm -hmm. So before, it's been happening for years now. So now, when we, we can tell each other we love each other, like, oh, I love you, my name, this is right. snack, we all good. And it's not weird, but before it was so funny because I would always text them. And they'll be, it'll just make it like, weird. Like, like fuck you talking about, man? What's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. You all right? You been drinking? That's you been because smoking? they're not used to it. Used I to know. Mm -hmm. And it was always funny. Like, my one um, guy brother, he got a text one night for me saying I love him. And my nickname that I grew up with was Boo. So when his girl saw the shit, she was like, who is Boo? I love you. Why he telling you, tell you he love you? Then it sounded all weird and funny. Like, no, nah, this is dang, this is fucked up childhood. Man. So it was one of them things where now, years later, when I see it to people at my barbershop, Nigel, uh my my brothers uh and whoever it is now it's just normal mm -hmm. it's no longer weird so that's mm -hmm. one thing i wanted to break where me and we can talk about our relationships we can talk about love we can talk about man dog you said this and it threw me off so now all of them can see now that's the relationship and the bond i want to have where I point out certain stuff, you point out certain stuff with me, and we helping each yeah, other, so and we building. You're trying to promote me and being right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you feel. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's going on. Tell me how you can fix certain stuff. And far as my sons, I give them everything I feel my dad didn't have and what I didn't have with my pops because he didn't know how to give me that. Mm -hmm. Like, my pops wasn't the, hey, you can do anything. You can do this. Or, you know, come here. How you was doing? Give me a hug. And if he was... He didn't do it enough to me mm -hmm. because it didn't affect me. It didn't, it wasn't something that I felt like, oh, that's one of the traits I want to pass down to my sons. Like with my father, it was the the macho manly thing. It was the you know the yell at you. You got to do this to motivate you in a different Not kind of like way. And have the that, tough love. The tough love. The nurturing. Yeah, or the weird conversations where you learn about transvestites and stuff. <laughs> <like>. <laughs> Or a man like, and it's a lot of positive stuff I learned from my dad. Like a man's supposed to provide, he's supposed to work. A man got to get out there and do this and do that. A man should be the leader of the family. A man should be, you know, hold himself accountable. So it's good things, but the love and the hugs and the affection and the conversation, mm -hmm. I wanted that more. I got a question because when you said a man's supposed to provide, yeah. would you be intimidated by a woman that makes more than you? No, not at all. Because I look at it like this and how every man should look at it. We are a team. Like, if we are a team, it don't matter who bringing a little more, who bringing more. Long as I'm providing and I'm get bringing something to our table or our bond. Because it's like, 
it don't hurt my pride that you make more money than me. Because I'm going to do the man shit anyway. Uh -huh. I'm going to make sure the bill's straight. I'm going to make mm -hmm. sure your car clean, you got gas. I'm going to make sure I'm doing everything. And if I'm not doing that, hold me accountable. Bring mm -hmm. it out. Shine a light on it. Mm -hmm. And my girl, that's one thing my girl knows that she done grown with me through the process. So she done been there when I'm like, no, I don't want to do this. So I don't do this for girls. I don't do that. Mm -hmm. But I always told her when I'm ready to be this person, mm -hmm. I'm going to do all that. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Mm -hmm. So she was able to see me do certain stuff. So whether it's with my sons, being a better father, doing stuff with them, whether it's with my friends doing this or doing that, whether it's with her, you know, being a guy that's like, to me, I always wanted to be the perfect man. Mm -hmm. And to me, the perfect man is somebody that provides for you, that has mm -hmm. your back, you feel secure with. Mm -hmm. You can talk to him about dumb shit, silly shit, strange shit, goofy shit. You can laugh with him, you can joke with him, you can be hard on him, you can be tough with him, but you gotta put in the effort to be more romantic, which was my strong point. Mm -hmm. To spend more money, which I was cheap as hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's to okay. plan it's romantic nice dates. No money, like how? And just be great. Like that's the perfect man to me, the, the person who has all those things. All those and just the leader. And when it's down, when we all, we both down, I'm like, I don't know how we gonna do this. We gonna do this shit. Mm -hmm. We gonna do it like this. Figure it out. Figuring it out, mm -hmm. being that leader. And I feel like that's a lot of me in problem now. They don't wanna be leaders. They sure don't. They some of them weren't taught do. and some of them just didn't pay attention. And some of them, you know, just lazy. They mm -hmm. know, but they not doing it. They don't wanna do nothing. They wanna yeah. be a woman and feel like a woman's supposed to do everything. What a woman needs you for if you're not doing nothing? Man, you like, got to. What, what, you like, should wanna do they it. They don't, I'm trying to say. I remember, like, I. Guys, they just don't. They don't. They will meet you and think because you're independent, you mm -hmm. take care of yourself, that they could just tag along. They don't have to do nothing. It's like, what do you like? Where? Who? Mm -hmm. Where they do that? At? And I'm simple. Like, man, long as you make sure I'm eating good, you talking to me, and you just giving me that love and that energy. I'm. A, first of all, you never like my woman. I'll use my woman for example. When we had the sex we have, and that food and that breakfast and that dinner done. I want to do shit for her. I want to say, okay, I'm going to get you flowers today. I'm going to go, we're going to go on this date. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. So I don't see how guys can have that woman. Maybe when you don't love somebody or you don't fuck with somebody like that, I, mm -hmm. I understand that. But somebody you love and respect and you want, you should want the best for them. And you're mm -hmm. supposed to change who yeah, you are the, they for do. the they, better. They, they don't want person. it as their expense. No, that's the key thing yeah. when he said somebody you love. I feel like somebody, if you are in true love, like yeah. the love but that the to wait, like, Bible there, say, they're going to do all of that. Yeah. You shouldn't have to wait for true love. Yeah. Like, uh -huh. I want to elevate if I really mm -hmm. love you. I want to yeah. be better, and you should want to be better. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, because it, it's just one of them things where it's like, I can't say I'll do anything for you, I'll kill for you, I'll do this, when I can't even value a pair of shoes, mm -hmm. or I can't even open this door for you. Or I can't protect you, or I can't mm -hmm. push you and show you that I when believe in you. You can do anything. About a woman, he gonna make sure you straight yeah, in all avenues yeah. and all aspects, yeah. and, and vice versa. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And another thing for me for breaking generational curses is women too. Since you're talking about uplifting mm -hmm. me and women uplifting each other, like I have this thing where. I call my little sister whenever I FaceTime her. I'm like, hey, beautiful, you looking mm -hmm. good. Like, you like, like hey, babe, you looking mm -hmm. good? Because I'm going to egg her up so good that she's going to have this confidence. Mm -hmm. And she and she is beautiful. But I just feel like like if a woman say, you you look cute, I'm like, you be look too cute, too cute beautiful. Too I get the compliment mm -hmm. back because it's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Like, people just be like that animosity and jealousy and envious with families mm -hmm. and just front, so called friends. It's like, it's no need for that. I don't even call that a generational curse. I call it's that just a society weird. curse. Yeah. Because yeah. society just hit everybody. But it be heavy in family, too. It be yeah. heavy. Yeah. It be yeah. heavy in family. Like, you have family members that don't like you, ain't never spent a moment with you. Mm -hmm. But nice. how do you not? Why yeah. don't you like me? And what be tripping me out is if. They don't like you and they friend don't like you. So why your friend don't like me? Because you really you talking about, about me to your friend <laughs> and they don't like me now? As soon as they meet yeah. you, they like, this nigga dope as hell. Exactly. That's how you know somebody guilty when you around somebody 
and somebody introduced and told this person mm-hmm. about you, when they're around you, they're like, man, you cool as hell, bro. I'm mm-hmm. with you. Mm-hmm. Like, your brother cool. Mm-hmm. And when I see that, I instantly know, like, you've been talking you about shit yeah. Yeah. Like, what type of person he told you was? People will throw something on your name and talk about you like a dog, and they don't be nothing mm-hmm. about you, and they just be jealous or mm-hmm. envious or because, and I always say, your experience with somebody is not going to be the same experience exactly. with somebody else because our inter- interaction may have not been good or we just don't work with each other but yeah. don't go talking about me making me seem like i'm this bad person yeah. and i'm not but people do mm-hmm. and people meet you and be like damn like you said you cool as hell yeah. 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 and that's the first thing i say like when i tell somebody i'll be like yeah i mean I mean, my man fuck with dog. I don't fuck with dog, but I don't fuck with dog because of this. So when I when I'm saying it, I'm giving you a reason to tell you. Now you might be cool, but only way I'm not gonna like you if it's like core shit. Mm -hmm. To me, core values. I'm never fucking with somebody if you breaking up. Yeah, you hand the women. You don't take care of kids. Mm -hmm. You. You you disrespectful, you jealous, you envy. Mm-hmm. I can't rock with none of that. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not dealing with that. But as mm-hmm. far as, like, certain stuff, like, I just don't, you know, you ain't trying to learn. You ain't trying to educate yourself. I just be like, no, nah, I don't rock with dude. But I don't got nothing against him. I just don't yeah, rock with that. You make your own decision if yeah. you want to deal with him. Because your experience with him may be totally different yeah. than mine was. And that's okay. Everybody yeah. not for everybody. That's yeah. absolutely yeah. true. Another generation of curse, I would say, kind of what Kiana said is the confidence like I can be in the room with my family sometimes friends and I can feel like I'm in a room full of strangers like nobody just understands me Mm -hmm. and I will say that my oldest niece is who she is like she's not with the trend she's Mm -hmm. not with the end she's the Kaya you know what I'm saying and I want you to be okay with that Mm -hmm. I don't want you to ever get out here and feel like you got to be something you're not just to fit in. You know what I'm saying? And I will be honest. I'm going to say just to fit in, but I was trying to keep up with things that I just can't. And now that, like, especially the shutdown we had, and I actually sat and thought about it, I'm to a point where it's just like, I'm not doing this shit no more, you know? Mm-hmm. So cool. now that I'm glad that I went through the stuff that I went through mm-hmm. so I can tell my niece, yeah. my, uh, my nieces, and then I have an adoptive little sister, like, I can tell her, like, yeah. you ain't got to do that shit because... Yeah, yeah you got to... The younger generation needs... Like, my sisters, she, I tell her all the time, you slim, enjoy the slim. That it's Ooh. okay to be small. I was small. I, listen, let your body do what it's supposed to do. Don't let Instagram society tell you you got to be thick or you got to have this to be beautiful. Mm-hmm. No, you are your own beautiful. Mm-hmm. And be yourself. Like, that's another thing, like, within family. Family members are so judgmental. The religious people, they judging them or they judge the older people judging the younger generation because they smoking some weed or they drinking something yeah. you used to do the same yeah. thing because yeah. you went to church and yeah. got yeah. saved <laughs> yeah because you went to church and got saved now you judgmental mm-hmm. and and also like i'm setting a tone where it's okay to start things later in life yeah. i'm gonna be a later in life mother and that's mm-hmm. okay people always like ain't nothing wrong with me i ain't crazy no i i I want to be a mother when I want to be a mother. I hate like, that. Yeah, like, like I ask me when get, I'm going to have a kid. I get that I'm a unicorn. Yeah. I get that every girl my age probably got three, four, five kids, but they I do. don't. <laughs> they do. Like, and yes, I am single. Yeah. And no, I am Tell not me crazy. I'm going to be an old mama. Yeah. That's okay yeah. if I'm going to be an older mother. Yeah. Yes. As long but, as you can tell me why you single yeah. and you don't have certain stuff, I get it. Like everybody yeah. that know me, know me that yeah. I want to have a husband. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. want to have nobody's baby unless it's my husband. And ain't nothing. And that's period. Yeah. But that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Once I hear you say what you mm-hmm. say, it makes yeah. sense. Like I'm, I'm not. I, I could have been had kids by now. Well, I don't want to, and I'm not about to explain that yeah. to you. Like this is my life. I'm my age, and that's yeah. okay. My mother ain't questioning me, so, and so why should you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it really ain't that weird for some it's like some people be acting so like, weird. oh, what? You never? Uh, people like, think that it's weird. weird. Like yeah, that you I don't have kids at a certain I'm age. I'm a unicorn, but I'm not crazy. Like this is one guy that I met. You ain't been in a relationship for how long? You ain't did this for how long? You ain't had sex for how long? You crazy, like, what's wrong with you? Ain't nothing wrong with me. Yeah, I don't got time to deal with nobody dirty yeah. ass son. Like, leave me alone. And it's, and it's like, stop asking yeah. me when I'm going to have kids. And nobody ever asks you when you want to, you, do you want to be happy? Or mm-hmm. do you want to get married? I always yeah. asking you when you're going to have kids. Well, who I'm says sure having a child is going to equate to me being happy? Mm-hmm. This is weird to me. Yeah, like, I'm so tired. And it's just like, <laughs> I know if it's me. 
I know, I know women know when it's them, when it's not your time, or you ain't in a space. Mm-hmm. And that's what us guys got to realize sometimes. A lot of times we don't want y'all when y'all in that one space or y'all mm-hmm. in that one mood where you want to be selfish mm-hmm. or you want to be about you or you want to do your career. Mm-hmm. And we got to listen to that sometimes mm-hmm. because I know I've, it's been times in my life where I'm like, look, I want this to work. I'm going to figure it out. Some stuff is not figure it out. Some stuff is like, like we yeah. just this the time and I like, yeah, like they hope I gotta do this and with, figure it yeah. out when you can't get hurt. I'm sorry, I ain't figuring it out. Yeah, like, I'm not no. mad at us taking proper steps, yeah. but if it ain't the growth and if it ain't where it need to be, can't and that's why I tell sense. people like, they say, Well you and your girl do this or do that, I'm like, dude. I'm gonna tell you the one key and I'm gonna tell everybody. When you constantly working on your shit, that's all I can ask for you. Mm-hmm. When you not working or feel like I'm doing more work, or you doing more work, I would tell any young person, that's when it's time to go. Yeah. But as long as y'all on the same life. page, got the same goals, working for the team instead of me or you, mm-hmm. we gonna be all right. Yeah, mm-hmm. like it's just people just be worried about your business. Like, because I don't got no kids, I mean, nothing wrong with me. I'm not no, crazy. Nobody work. Yeah, it ain't, I'm not a psycho, it ain't never old. If people even ask, like, can you have kids? Like, can you stop <laughs> having them? So if you ask somebody me, asked me like, like somebody asked me before, I'm like, can you stop having kids? They mm-hmm. asked me like, they get offended though. A person that has maybe several kids would be like, when you gonna have kids? When you gonna stop having them? Because you got a whole boatload of them. Okay, can, let me have one of yours. Like that. Ask me like that's rude to ask somebody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like what? That's a lot of shit. That Another thing do. that's rude to me is not respecting somebody's decision of not wanting kids. Mm-hmm. Like. I say this, if I so happen to get married and I so happen to have a kid, then I will have a kid. Yeah. That's fine. But in the mindset that I'm in right now, I don't want children. And I feel yeah. like, don't bash me for that. It's just because I don't want kids. I have my reasons. I Never? Or you just think at this moment? Right now, in my head space, I really kind of want to say never. My reason, my main reasoning is, this world is fucked up. It is very it fucked is. up. <laughs> this world is so corrupted. I don't Very. want my, if I have a son, I don't want my African-American son out here dealing with the fucking police. Mm-hmm. Possibly, I might not see my kid again because he got shot by the police or got racially profiled for having an Arizona and Skittles and mm-hmm. I've got to go identify my kid. Well, you have I a don't daughter know. and she's been kidnapped, kidnapped sex, trafficking. sex traffic, oh, got yeah. shot in her damn house or Crazy like, I don't want to yeah. deal with that shit. It's I'm already, yeah, I'm scared for myself. I'm scared for my nieces and my nephew. Like, I don't want to add to that. But like I said, if I, I might change my mind one day, you yeah. know. Or, and like I said, if it's just, I still have to get pregnant and I still have to get pregnant. You know what we sure me out the people that got kids? It's like, people have kids and you got physical human beings as kids, but you're not really being a parent. Yes. This kid, you're not raising a kid properly. Mm-hmm. You, it's like, for me, if I have a kid... If I'm going and traveling, my kid traveling too. Mm-hmm. You got people that go out of town, do stuff. They never take these kids nowhere. They don't take mm-hmm. the kid. Like you doing all of this living, and what the kid just stuck in the house with the babysitter. Mm-hmm. Like take the kid on a trip. Take them. Let them see the world. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Invest time in them. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like they just be so worried about look being the baddest bitch on the mm-hmm. internet or going out to the club mm-hmm. or this and that. It's like. You, when you become a parent, your kids have to trump yeah. certain things. Yeah. Like I, and that's what I know. I'm that type of person. That if I'm my kid gonna have a passport, I got one. Listen, come on too. That's the type of parent I'm, and that's but that's what I want mm-hmm. for my family. But and everybody don't see it. They my auntie see had a kid older, but she did everything she wanted to do. She in life yeah. traveled the world by herself. Now she had a kid. My little cousin has been more Tra- places than me. Yes, <laughs> so you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, there's nothing wrong with that. That's one thing I didn't do enough. The vacations, the certain stuff. I didn't do that as much as I But you still have, you can still do that. Yeah, I still yeah, got time, yeah, but it's yeah. just, that's one of the things that yeah. I did. You don't do always have time. I feel but like I'm talking like, about these, there's these women and these men that yeah, be doing know. all of this and yeah. the kid, you don't never, it's like, why you can't take the kids to Florida? Why you can't take yeah. the kid all the time? Like, let them, like, mm-hmm. make memories with your kid. But people just don't be doing it. And they talk about us with our kids, and I hate that whole. 
Yeah, y'all people with, uh, that don't have kids always talk this up. No, we're not. We're not downing people that have kids. I'm just saying, I don't want to have a kid out of marriage. That's mm -hmm. my personal goal. Mm -hmm. Not saying that marriage is going to change anything, but to me, mm -hmm. my personal goal, I want a husband. Mm -hmm. And that's just my goal. I'm not saying that you're a bad person because you had kids out of marriage. Mm -hmm. I'm not judging. This is just my own personal goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like kids is, well, um, kids are like, if you plan for it, I think, to me, I did both. Mm -hmm. My first one I planned, my second one, mm -hmm. you know, surprise, made the most surprise. of it. Surprise. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Yeah. But I just feel like, you know, when you have these kids, you want the best for them. Exactly. And you want to give them what you didn't have. You and have. you want to be, you want to go above that. Mm -hmm. So it's like, with my sons, I'm making sure I do all the big, the little is it some stuff I want to do more? Yeah, but it's a lot of stuff I do great that nobody talks about. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff um, they her mo they mother do that's different. Whether mm -hmm. it's them not eating meat or not the they their diet, like it's a lot of stuff. We came together and said we're gonna do this. We're gonna try this. We're gonna try mm -hmm. that. And we're gonna do this. And I feel like that's what you want to do with your kids. And I feel like kids change your life. Like, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. my son, I can honestly say my sons made me a better man. Mm -hmm. You know, they yeah, made me kids, work harder. Yeah. They made kids me do this. Kids are a gift from God. Yeah. Like, they, they are. are. I am not. But if you can ready. wait till you ready. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I, I want to be stable because mm -hmm. I think the biggest generational curse that I will break with my own kid mm -hmm. is I'm going to set my kid up for the world. Oh, please don't up. have like. like so they I'm struggling yeah. and get older and yeah. gotta figure everything yeah. out on their oh, own and that set is up hard. It's like money, I wanna yeah. make sure my kid is straight, but I'm talking yeah. about like this business world, like my niece now, I'm teaching her how to say one, I'm teaching her how to say uno, mm -hmm. I'm teaching her how to say T T, I'm teaching her how to say T I like yeah. I'm gonna teach my kid like everything. Yeah. So when you get older, you already know this. And when you get in high school, you better not fucking take Spanish. I'm gonna yeah. kick your ass. And that's a part of the gym. <laughs> like, yeah, um, you gotta yeah. do it. You gotta do a sport. We go. We learn the instruments. Yeah. You're going to yeah. be set up so you can so know how to when you work get this here. Yeah. In this white Crazy corporate, work. you, you know gonna know maneuver, 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 maneuver through that shit. Yeah. And that's how. I, that's the biggest generational curse yeah. I'm gonna do for my kids. And mm -hmm. even this might sound so strange, but if I have a girl, I'm giving her a little boy's name. It sounds strange, but when you think about resumes and going out here for these mm -hmm. jobs, they're going to pick her name because they're not really looking at the sex. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because her name, oh, she might have a Blake or some mm -hmm. shit like that. Oh, this might be a little white boy. Mm -hmm. Surprise, oh, surprise, my brown ass <laughs> I'm so tasty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, when I put my name in the resume builder, it took the little part off of my name. It's just me. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to set you up completely. You know, like, my mom prepared me for this shit. That's what yeah. Peter James <laughs> 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 They be throwing off. They be like, <laughs> I still up to that interview. How you doing? My name is Peter. They be like, oh, <laughs> who are you looking at? <laughs> You're Peter? Yes, yeah, so I'm Peter. <laughs> How you doing? Hello. Peter James. I go by James, though. He's like, no, I just nigga. want the best. Like, I just feel like, I just, I want my kids to just not struggle and go through it. Like, I, yeah. I want them to be, you gotta have some struggle to know how to be strong. Yeah. You're not to know the struggle, but you're not. My, I, like, as a kid, I watched my mom do it. She didn't have it. When I say nobody was helping my mother, it was my mom, but she had to thug it out and figure it out on her own. So that's why I'm like, when it goes back to certain people, when they have kids, I'm like, my mother was 20 years younger mm -hmm. and figured it out. You're 40 and got a kid. Why can't you figure it out? Yeah, yeah. Why can't you? Yeah. This is so she, weird to me. I get everybody needs a support system. But, but I'm sorry. You can't be expecting yeah. no support system. After my, never after my, right, no. after my no. daddy died, it's been time school. My daddy died when I was in high school. So, like, homecomings, it was one homecoming I really wanted to go. It was my 12th mm -hmm. grade homecoming. My mama did not have the money. Mm -hmm. Girl, God was her support system because she hit the lottery that mm -hmm. day, and I went to fucking yeah, high school. Like, they you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, yeah. you got to get out here. I didn't have, and that's why I'm so strong, and I'm very, like, I don't give people breaks. Like, all that, like, you get a pass. And no, if you haven't been an active family member or somebody in my life, just because you may be, and I'm by blood. Mm -hmm. That don't mean I'm going to give you a pass and just be like, no, you have to earn that relationship mm -hmm. with me. And if you don't want to earn, I'm not chasing that for you to get it. Mm -hmm. And that's just how I am with it. Like, I'm not chasing people. I fell back a lot with chasing and trying to hold and build relationships with people. I just let it fly. Because mm -hmm. I, I, I keep, and I've learned to um, 
stick around and nurture the relationships with people that know me yes. best. Mm -hmm. Like, that's where I stand. You only have so much time on this earth. And I'm going to give it to the people that, that I know it. that deserve it. I just don't have it. Like, I don't have time for no fake friendships, mm -hmm. none of that. Like, I just I just don't have the energy because people, they just be looking for anybody just to latch on to. People like to get attached to you for certain things. And I don't suck know. You dry. They will suck you dry. They will suck you dry. trying to get more out of you. Like, what do you want? All it's so people. weird. They want everything yeah. and then some. It's like, no, but you just got to put, that's why I believe in boundaries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I want to get back to, like, me and my girl always talk about getting back to having a Sunday dinner, having a family yes. house that people want to go to, oh having God. a place where kids can be kids, adults can be adults, and older people, really? seasoned people can be seasoned people. But you know what? My mom, we used to always do a lot of, like, family gatherings, but we got tired because it's like everybody come over, mm -hmm. so nobody, you know, everybody just come to eat, mm -hmm. make a mess, nobody mm -hmm. helps out to clean yeah. up, but nobody, you know, you know it's like you get tired And of it. I say this all the time, it ain't no more motherfucking big mamas out here. No. That's what it is. It's no more big mommy. That's why I got these big little uncles. Yes, <laughs> because on my dad's side, um, we had family meals all the time. But once my grandma died, mm -hmm. stop. It stopped, you know. And I feel like that was something that kept the family together. Mm -hmm. Because especially my daddy's side, like it's so big, and my mom's side is so big. I was at work working at Champs, and this guy came in. Lord forgive me. I said, oh, he kind of cute. And then I mm -hmm. looked at him. I said, that family member. I know him. Damn. He looked at me. I said, why do I know you? He looked at me like real hard. He said, because you my cousin. I said, no, the fuck you not. <laughs> like, Thank that's why I'm like, <laughs> 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 like that, that's well, how. He's the what? Yeah, like, cute. No, because he had a kid. <laughs> but, <laughs> get together it's like my mom she's so stuck in her ways but you about to be 60 years old yeah. you're going to have a slice of celebration mm -hmm. at your house your family needs to come over you know yeah. what I mean yeah. so but people take advantage of them family gatherings. People, mm. they, it make it, they, people just, it's <laughs> like people have just ruined everything they nowadays. To go play. Yeah, they want to take kids <laughs> yeah. to go play. They don't want to help clean up. They want to open up every pop that's in the cooler. <laughs> 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 they got kids that's running in and out shit. the door. That's, that's, what, that's what I was about to say yeah, when you said where kids can be kids. Because I remember a time where there was the adult table. And yep. there was the kids table. Kids you didn't come in here. You didn't yeah. come in here. Yeah. You don't, we wasn't up in our mama's you face. You sat right in there and yeah. didn't listen yes. to Yes, they had a party because we all used to live in a one compact building. Okay. If the party was at my um, my auntie house, we was at our other auntie house. You know, yeah. the kids with the other yeah. auntie house. Now the kids be in the party. No. Sitting up while we drinking and smoke. I said, no, no. I'm leaving. Like, this is ghetto. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah. And then you have the, the family members that don't smoke, they don't drink. Like, you can't just think because you don't smoke or don't drink that everybody else not doing. Okay, if you don't Morning like kids, it, just go. <laughs> <laughs> like, stop trying to stop yeah. what everybody else doing because mm -hmm. you don't do it. And it's not your yeah. house. Mm -hmm. This You don't call no shots over here. And then... No. Stop coming to family events to be nosy. Like, asking yeah, all these questions I'm about... Keisha doing. Like, don't come to me asking me nothing about my siblings because everybody knows I'm not telling my mama, my daddy, my brothers, and my sisters. Our business our business. Yeah. That's between us. If they want to let you know something about them, they will tell you. Like and vice versa. Mm -hmm. My loyalty lies with my immediate family because mm -hmm. that's all I've ever had. We yeah. have always been there for each other. We have always had each other. No matter, we've been through all kind of crazy stuff, but at the end of the day... Who we got is each other. Mm -hmm. So that's where my loyalty lies. Like, I ain't telling you about my brother. Mm -hmm. I ain't telling you about my sister. I ain't telling you about my sister. I ain't telling you about my mom. I ain't telling you about Spike. Mm -hmm. that's <laughs> like, that's Spike. Yeah. Spike. No, because that's at the end of the day. Don't worry about when Spike. I ain't got nobody. Let me tell you who I got. I got my family, and that's vice versa. Everybody else. Thank you, guys. Yeah, not my dog. And he's loyal, too. And Spike, he holds Spike will show you the gym. Yes, yes. And that's yeah. just how it is. My loyalty, like, my loyalty lies with the people that I know genuinely care about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to wonder, like, damn, you know, they're going to play me shady. They're going to do me dirty. They're going to tell my business. They're going to talk about me behind my back. Because that's all people do. They want to know your business so they can spread it around. Yeah. Yeah. That's so weird to me. Nowadays, family is getting worse than mm -hmm. having fake ass friends. It's that's like, why so do I need terrible. fake friends when I got family mm -hmm. like yeah. you? Because and some family members are good. I got some really good cousins and, mm, yes. and people that I really have good relationships with, and I don't have to talk to them every day. Mm -hmm. When we talk, you know, we link back up like nothing fell off. But for me, 
like my friends are my family mm -hmm. like i've never been a collector of friends mm -hmm. because i don't know it's just females are really weird to me yeah, like they, they they just come around and they be trying to compete with you they be this is the weirdness like mm -hmm. i don't get it so it's like once i see that in a female i'm like i'm good on you because i'm not about to be competing with no friend of mine like we you you and i'm me mm -hmm. there is no need but women love to do that they ruin relationships yeah, because, yeah it's I'm like not, what is this i'm just saying to you like i have friends mm -hmm. but because i'm not that close to my cousins which is sad because like my graduating class it was five of us that graduated mm -hmm. together and like right above us they're probably 31 right up under me i'm 29 they're probably like 27 like it's a lot of us and i should never say like i don't have no friends because i have so much family yeah mm -hmm. but we yeah. just not that close I'm you know you. i got one female friend, that one close. female cousin that i'm close with the rest is male see we yep. didn't grow up <laughs> close and then now that we are older well two actually two we two. do have some type of relationship but we are like Especially the girls that's yeah. close to my age, they all got kids. I don't. Yeah. So it's like, I can't always hang out yeah. with them. So. Yeah. And I'm a friend that's like, I'm not about to wait for you to find a babysitter. You knew we was going out. If you can't do it, <laughs> girl, bye. Because you know, I'm not about to wait for you. And I'm not, about to, I'm not about to end my night early because your kids are like, I don't listen. <laughs> I don't be having because that's like what's the point? Like I'm not about to know. And you're not about no. to come out with me watching your baby cam no. on your phone. No. <laughs> and another pet peeve is when your man keep calling like, girl, go back to him. <laughs> Bye. Cause that will irritate me if I'm out and my man keep calling. Like I'm telling yeah. you, I'm a one thing I believe we gonna let each other know we safe here, we safe there. But I'm gonna be back. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't have to talk to me the whole time. Cause I'm not gonna blow you up the whole time. You oh, up. like that. Yeah, that's my thing is when you out, you out. Just be safe. Bye. That's the only thing I want. I'll see you later. Bye. I'll see you later. Yeah. Text me when you get back I home. I wanna miss you. You don't. You can't yeah. miss anybody. Be under them twenty four seven three sixty five. I could stand. I mean, I'm already an introvert. I crave. Girl, I'm I am so I crave my alone time. Girl, I be yeah, <laughs> and if I don't get it, I, I get irritated and I'll be like, I need a person to leave me alone. Like, yes, mm -hmm. I will do that because I need my space. Mm -hmm. I have to come back down. You yeah, know? I, yeah. down I can be it. both like if I go out, I can have a good time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But for me to sit in my room, especially when it's clean, nicely Girl, made bed yeah. with a good book. Mm -hmm. See, I gotta give myself a certain amount of time, or I'm gonna be cranky and I'm gonna mm -hmm. be an asshole. Mm -hmm. You just, I don't like being yeah. smothered. Like, I don't wanna be smothered, because I'm not a smothering person. Like, if I love you and I care for you and I wanna be with you, you gonna know it, but I'm not a person that's gonna be, when you come like, you make a left turn, make a right turn, I'm like, I don't need something. And I'm gonna say I this. I feel like if you need to know all of that, you trying to yeah. avoid me from bumping into your mm -hmm. creeping ass. <laughs> so, <laughs> what you was about to say? Like, I'm not the girlfriend that needs a passcode. I don't need your passcode <laughs> to your phone. <laughs> I don't need your passcode to this, passcode yeah. to that. I'm not checking your phone when you walk off the room. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Because <laughs> whatever I need to know is going to come to service. Yeah, that's wild if I yeah. see you with my phone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or like, when you on the phone, I'm like, right? yeah, yeah. Wow, what is that? That's I ain't gonna lie though, I might, we might read a text message together, but I'm not about to go through No, if we both say it, but don't. Don't sneak through my shit. Like, Cause I'm the type of man. I, even mm -hmm. even when I want shit, I'm still leaving my phone around. Mm -hmm. Like I'm still not gonna do certain stuff. Man, girls be doing the most. Mm -hmm. Wait till he sleep, grab his phone, put oh, it up man. to his face, so he can run his face. I would give you my call. Call. call one, two, three, four. Now, now, you now, you now, now, now if you wanna look, look go ahead. Let me tell you something about women. They can see you cheat on them twenty thousand times. They ass gonna stay right there. Yes, my girl bad. A lot of them. I am not a no limit. That's a no. Miss Soldier, I am not. I'm once a, one offense, your ass is out. Mm -hmm. Cheat if you want. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna help you pack it up because I'm not gonna okay. hurt you. Know. I got one question before we go. So, if yeah. your dude or your woman go to jail, are you waiting? Depends on how long, it depends on what you did. Well, what are you going to jail for? Why? I, I'm just saying. You got to be, it ain't no, you just wake up, you go to jail on a Monday. No, right? just no, say I'm just saying, he, like, he, he got two he years. Gets, he got a couple years. He get two, three years. Yeah, that's my man and I'm down for my way. Like my husband or something. Mm -hmm. But if you somebody I'm kicking it with, just off the blue, no. You can't that's just be somebody I just start nah. kicking with. It depends, it depends on, like if it's my husband yeah. and my man and we together and then yeah. you do something, something for oh yeah, because... But if yeah, we but fly like that, yeah. got an understanding, and I know you are gonna be right when when I wait this amount of time, because I feel like if I'm asking you to wait, I need to be preparing myself, and you need to be preparing yourself. Mm -hmm. So 
if we close like that, I see a future with you, and I see that this can be different, then I wouldn't mind. Women be. I feel like I'm the only one that ain't shit because I. Don't. You gonna I say no? Have. Damn. But I'm not waiting, no. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> if y'all got five that. years in a relationship and he's been the perfect it's, man and he get clipped for, let's say, two years, he only gonna do a year. You not gonna wait for him? Think about that shit, man. <laughs> Think about that it. Because that is time invested. Well, yeah. you invest, that's your man. Yeah, your man. man. My man. You He's a good man. That's a good man. A good man. Okay, a good man. A good ass man. Yeah. With your heart I, to come back. So, I get yeah. it. If he a needle in a haystack, yeah. I can do yeah. that. You know I can do three years after the man. What you gonna do out here? What you The pickings out here ain't shit. And I don't mean that nigga that's just gonna string you along. We gonna get married, boo. When I get out, we gonna do this. Not that nigga, but the nigga. Some women know that. That's like, what I'm saying. Like, it's bitch that be waiting. Like, yeah, my man, he down for 10 years. Who waiting? 10 years, bitch. Who is waiting? So, if yeah. I go to jail for 10 years, I'm not even going to ask you. You just throw some of my pieces. Like, people be having sad pieces. Like, what be for me? I like the sad pieces that be on them. They be waiting. Like, girl, what is you waiting on, sis? <laughs> hey, Where man. are you Shout waiting on? Shout out to on? the women that hold it down. Not a sad piece. <laughs> Mm-mm. Hey, look. You see that motherfucker that's gonna write you a letter? Look, okay, let's I'll step away. Let's think about no. that person. He needs somebody to talk to. She needs somebody that's well, gonna send him something on that book. Was he holding it down for you when he was out? You the homie. I'm the homie. No, I'm not doing it. No, ain't no. no homie. He holding no homie down. Why he not the homie? Man. I'm not doing it. For what? Somebody you would fly with, man. You know, it necessarily gotta be somebody you love. Yes. Yes. So a cool motherfucker just fuck. Like a friend, like a homeboy, like, say, like my boy, like somebody I grew up with. To be okay, let's just nothing. say y'all had sex a couple of times. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 I'm about to fake this bitch. I'm about to just say no like <laughs> that. Because you wasting my let, time. No, no, let's, just say, no let, let, let's just say, no, let's just say, let's, um, let me paint the picture. Okay. Let's just say uh, we was friends with benefits. And by friends with benefits, I mean somebody that paid a bill here and there. Here and there. Somebody that you had great sex with. Somebody you enjoy spending time with. And somebody that it's a 50-50 chance that y'all can end up together or y'all can still be close as friends. I'll be your pen pal. Oh, y'all not about to tell me that. <coughs> no, I mean, I just, at my age, I'm You can't send a nigga a letter, a picture here and I there? I said a pen pal. I'll be your pen okay, pal. Okay, okay, okay. But it ain't no chance for him. You gonna get out? I might have a whole new nigga. If you don't, I got an opportunity. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Y'all like? Cause it's the fifty-fifty for me. Because that's I got yeah, fifty, 50. and then that other fifty, you probably splitting up ten five. And you pay way. a bill here and there, like yeah. no, 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 here and there situation. I'm no, like, I'm just saying. Oh, I'm just saying he looked out for you. Y'all had an understanding. And he paid a bill. He did stuff. Books and I'll be your friend. Friend. If you the same cup. If That's you was cool, I might like put you, fill my tank cup. That ain't <laughs> that ain't enough for me to be right. I'm no, just saying. <laughs> I fill my tank cup on the rest of the I'm just saying he did a couple of these things. He filled the tank cup. He cut the grass here and there. He did stuff like y'all went on vacation. I'm not rewarding you or paying you back for what you did. No, like I'm not day. saying that. I'm just saying somebody that you was close with. Y'all I'll never got to this point. So you can eat or whatever. Yeah, like there, what but I'm, I'm not saying. about to be writing no letters. I'm not saying you got it. Oh, it's Thursday. You got that letter. I'm not saying no, that. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm just Probably saying. Not. My man, my husband, and somebody, he did something, he did, that's my babe, my husband, I'm holding it down, but somebody else is kicking it with you. And then again, it do depend on what you did. Mm-hmm. It depends. Yeah. yeah, it depends on what you did. Mm-hmm. Because you an idiot, you did some stupid shit, I'm not I'm about to stay here with you. Well, no, because you knew better. It's not always. Give me an example of what he did. A nigga tried to run up on you and you shut it. Oh, well, yeah. That you that's got that ass yeah. yeah, that's yeah. different. Or yeah. even maybe a white collar crime. Yeah, yeah. you can yeah. bring yeah. bad shit. Yeah. yeah, but if you yeah. out here killing motherfuckers no, and police no, come knocking on my door, I'm telling you. Yeah, you can't be, no, you can't be doing shit like that. I don't know. It's just so weird to me now. Like, people just, I don't know. It's like the dynamics of this, like, relationships and dating just is mm-hmm. like a drought. It's yeah. like at this all time low. Like people don't value anything because nobody don't have morals, goals, or loyalty. You gotta have those things. You got all these kids being produced out of just hookups, and people just 
Having sex. Watching TV. It's yeah. all about fucking and going it's, to the next girl. Yeah. And it's not, about, it trips me out when people, it's not from the young, young generation. It's, the mm -hmm. what you think should be mature mm -hmm. you know what yeah. i'm saying like 30s and up like what is going on i don't even think it's about i think it's about the image yeah. a lot of people like i tell my friends stop being scared to be alone yeah. okay you stop, need to be alone sometimes so you can stop learn yourself. dealing with stupid shit just yeah. to say you got a man just to be mm -hmm. able to post a picture on Instagram. Oh, that facade. Like, that facade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, facade. like, stop that because if you can't be alone, you can't be with nobody. You can't. And another thing too I've noticed, guys always posting the kids but they never post the mama. Like, this kid came from somewhere so mm -hmm. if you got a kid and you with a mama, why y'all never post a family picture? Like, where the mama at? The kid came from somewhere <laughs> you never us. see the mama. It's mm -hmm. the homies day out. <laughs> <laughs> She, she went here on Thursday. And if you went to the mama page, they got the picture with the daddy, with the kids. Well, it's and like them. four pictures of the daddy throughout the whole three. No, it'd be pictures. women be posting that baby daddy, and I'm like, yeah. you go to the baby daddy page. That's and a then it's, but it's always been like that. The woman yeah. is just always posting and posting and posting, and he just posts yeah. a, a side okay. shot of you. Yeah. They probably put an emoji over your face and everything else. I, and mm -hmm. be on the Instagram like everybody else's mm -hmm. pictures. See, this is the race. Like, this I, social I don't like media that. is different. How do y'all feel about now? that? Because I don't like no guy that's like it. If we together and you like it, I'm cussing yeah, your I ass out. Like I, don't, um, I don't care about that. You don't care about that? Because mm -hmm. why you liking it? You I'm a man. I don't me. give a fuck. But I had to learn. You got to yeah. do what's comfortable. Yeah, for your yeah. Because I'm cussing yeah. your ass out. Why you love it? What's so lovely about it? Cause you ain't told me shit about me being lovely, baby. You, know, <laughs> you ain't told me how good I look. Okay, let me play the man. You play the woman. You gonna ask me about the picture? I'm just gonna be like, it's no picture. Why? See, this it's not why. that. Okay, well, it's I not that question, complicated for us. What? Okay. What type of picture are you? Basic ass about? pictures, like basic shit. A girl posting. Like, oh, you know, like just a shit, regular picture, regular shit where they got all these filters on it because they got like they, sh you know how people do. Because most girls trip about uh, they men liking like girl ass pictures, ass out, titties out, like the seductive. You just talking about any picture? They do most of the pictures be seductive, mm -hmm. like oh. because you haven't told me I'm beautiful today, so I just know why you are liking it so good. What's so fucking play about? I don't you? know, man. I just look at it like it's like. If you see people walk by, and that's why I had to describe the migrant. If I see people walk by and I say, oh, he got some nice shoes. Like, oh, man, her and her son doing this. Like, oh, she cooks a bomb-ass dinner. Like, oh, well, man, she on the dinner. beach, she like the background. Like, yeah, ain't no just, background. Ain't no background. You got that long bikini. <laughs> no, but even if I do see that. It's just the like. Like, I know y'all definition. No, it's more to that. No, you keep it up being clear. No, but I'm just like saying. That, that's turn me off, guys. That always like everything. You can't go. You can't be the light, light fucking monster. Like, like you can't be Captain Light. Like, when you, like and I, I've yeah, been yeah. guilty of it when you look at through pictures and you like, like you see everything. the same couple of things. Yeah. That's, I was about to but say, my look at thing, it I look at it more as if. It's just this one bitch that's just like real seductive, just ass out and all this stuff, and you like it or her shit. No, no, no that's, 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 that's yeah. her fan. Yeah, no, that's I'm talking that's. about like you just liking one particular yeah. person, like all of her yeah. particular stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna look at you. Like, why you? Yeah, what's yeah, nice. about her? her. Mm -hmm. But if you just scrolling on your timeline, you see a bitch with her ass, and I'm that's, like, that's yeah. why. I'm, and I mean, it, I ain't the police when I'm looking, but if I see it, I if you see it. But it's just one of them things, like, we just look at it different from y'all. A lot of it do, some of it do be sexual. It's like, look at her. But a lot of times, it just be like, that's just a dope-ass picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't even one of them niggas. I see niggas' pictures where they like, I like that. <laughs> like, I ain't funny, a but that nigga cut the fuck up. Like, Ooh, we just like, okay, he's buff, whatever. But, but, but. but I'm just saying, for a nigga to show love like that, that's different. Yeah, I get it. Women are because most of women, y'all don't even like. I ain't saying y'all, but most women don't even like other women pictures. I do. The same pictures that I said that I looked at that, I saw that. A lot of times, y'all look at a picture and be like, "Oh, she looks beautiful. She wearing a nice little bikini." Like it's the same thing. I get props to women that are dope. Yeah. I really do. I think it's a really it's like I always say it's a world full of beautiful women. Yeah. So I I, I, oh, I, I sure. yeah, but some women don't like they Change just, the narrative. Women just be hating, and I'm sorry, but women be hating. It's like you just can change if you don't 
if you see somebody that looks so good, won't you work on you? If you want to, mm. like, there's no need to hate. Mm. And then people be hating on you for shit that you, just just you being yourself. Yeah. Like, I have women, like, I never understand how women feel some type of way because I'm a sexy woman. So even when I dress down, my dress down going to still be, that's just me. Yeah. Why she got to be like, sure her stuff? Yeah, like, <laughs> well, why can't I show? Why can't yeah. I? Like, why? Yeah. Because you're not secure with your body. If you, why, why be mad? Because if I you had it, you I see show. girls every day, all day with nice bodies. I'm not intimidated or jealous yeah. because I'm secure with what I got going on. But women just, they just can't just let anybody else shine. Anybody yeah. else shine and they mad. Like, why? Yeah, and you got you gotta you gotta support that. Like that's the only way y'all gonna change the narrative yeah, by y'all pushing it. each other and being supportive. They rather compete. Doing that, you gotta do that. <coughs> Everybody's trying to compete with each other. Yeah, but guys, thank you for tuning in. A while that's crazy podcast. Please continue to wear your mask. Wash, wash your, your hands. Your hands sanitize, sanitize. Sanitize. And social distance. Social distance. Enjoy the rest of y'all week. Have Peace. a good week, guys.